And so you've made um, you've made all these great comments for your designer, indicating all of the changes. And now the designer, which is me, <laughs> the designer needs to go through all of these changes and incorporate them into the PDF. <clears throat> I love Acrobat 9 for this reason. They make the comments, this, this version makes the comments so easy to work with. You click on the little comments tab right there in the bottom and if it's not there, it should be, it's always there by default unless someone has turned it off. Click anywhere in this gray bar here or right click and you get all these different options and they put by default, they put the most common ones here on the left um, but if someone has turned it off, has turned off the comments. Oh, I guess you can't delete it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> um, so click on the comments tab and you can just um, easily go through one at a time to make sure that you've got all the changes. And, and the way it works, I'll scroll back up to the top. Uh, let's say I've, um, I'm on the first comment and it's highlighted up here and it's, you'll see that it's replacement text and normally, you know, this would be filled with Spanish, Spanish, Spanish. Okay, and so then as a designer, I've input that change into the newsletter. And when I've done that, I just check the checkbox to indicate that it's done. Now, no one else is gonna see that. Um, the only person that can see that little checkbox is me, Kelly Vaughn, on whatever, uh, whatever version of Acrobat on my computers that I have where I'm signed in as Kelly Vaughn. And so if I pass this PDF off to a coworker, they are not going to see that checkbox. You'll have to do something called, um, I think it's a um, sharing and a shared review, which is, that's a whole other lesson. But this checkbox here is so simple. It's just for me as a designer, only I'm going to see it. So I'm going through all my comments. I'm, you know, working through and making sure I don't miss anything. This is really great because on a, on a hard copy proof, if you just like write out all your changes and then, you know, give it to someone else to like input all those changes into the computer, it is so easy to miss stuff on hard copy proofs. And, you know, if it's like a tiny little pen mark or if you don't also put in a whole bunch of like sticky notes to indicate which pages have changed, just, it's just a lot easier with a PDF proof to like how, once your comments are all in there, just you know, work right through them, check them off, make sure that you don't miss anything. This, this is just a lot less error prone. So I've gotten a whole bunch of my comments done and I wanna make sure, double sure that I haven't missed anything. And so I'm gonna go over here to this button and I'm gonna sort comments by check mark status. And so all I have to do is untwirl this unmarked and this will show me, even if I've got like a 500 page long PDF, if I have any comments in here that I haven't checked off, which is how I indicate that I've incorporated them into my InDesign files, it's gonna take me to them. It can jump from page one to page 50 to page 500, lickety split. And so I just go through all of my, my comments here and make sure that I've incorporated every single one of them and it, it's so great. Now there's a bunch of other ways to sort too. You can sort comments by color. Sadly, not in Acrobat 10 or 11. I keep asking Adobe, hey Adobe, if you're listening, <laughs> please bring that feature back. Um, so like if you have, if your colors indicate different things, um, different, different systems, different types of content, um, that could be a really useful thing, like all of my um, my white comments mean something special. So I can just group all the white ones together um, and go through those one at a time. You know, just go through that, that type of information one at a time. And let's say the yellow ones mean something different to me. And, and you'll notice here that the comment, there's, you can have a sticky note in here and a highlight. And you can have a cross out. And this is strictly by color. So if, if colors are important to you and you think well in colors and you are compelled to color code things, well, first of all, I, I totally understand. I color code everything. Um, but, the, but secondly, this could be a really great tool for you to be able to color code different things. Like maybe um, maybe school colors. If you have one school that's got their school colors of red and 
and black and another school that's got the school colors of orange and um, blue and it would just be really helpful for you to to quickly to quickly sort your comments and your thoughts based on school colors well maybe that would be useful for you you can also sort by author if you have well in this case it's just one author but let's say that um, you've got multiple authors working on a project editing adding comments uh, maybe multiple directors let's say um, I'm gonna I'll give my dog's name Clarence um, you can change the author of any comment just by it's in the properties uh, dialog box just like we looked at before and you just go over to the second tab author and just change the comment name and then that new author is going to show up over here in the sort comments by author list so every place that Clarence has made a comment it's going to show up right here so that could be a, a useful thing for you to do if you're working on a team and um, you could also sort by page if you're going through comments one page at a time um, maybe you've got a oh well, I only have comments on one page this isn't a, like a really clear illustration but if you've got comments on multiple page and you just want to focus on one page at a time that could be a useful way to go is just to sort them by page and um, sort by date you could again they're all today um, but you can sort them by date to see you know just have all the newest most recent comments pop to the top and the last one is sort by type and you can see all the types of changes that were made again not sure um, that might be useful for you I don't use this feature a whole lot but it could be helpful now I want to I want to say one thing about about comments is a really it's a great way for clients to put in changes for the designer but it's also a really fabulous way for the designer to ask questions of their client let's um, for example let's say I need the new logo like if you know the organization that you're working with has just recently changed logos and you don't have the new one yet you can you know you can just make a comment that from the designer you can make a comment to um, to the editor and what's really cool is you can reply and so it's like a sticky note within a sticky note and so here um, as oh, let's say I'm the the client now um, I will send you the new logo or you can contact the marketing department and so you can you can have kind of like conversations going on here a lot of times what I'll see is my my clients they'll um, I'll ask them a question and then what they'll do is they'll open up my sticky note and they'll just press return and they'll just start typing and generally that works okay because I, I I know what I typed and so when they respond I know it's them but it, if you're working on a, a larger team of people having the the question and answer in the same sticky note by two different people it could lead to some confusion so the the better solution is to reply and that way you get two distinct two distinct threads in there and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what that looks like in the comment view too You'll notice now that this is, um, let me open this up a little bit so I can see it better. That's my sticky note. And that's my original question. And the reply is indented. Just like an email conversation, it gets indented one. So it's, it's clear that it's a reply to the previous sticky note so 
the things that we learned today are how to get the the comment toolbar up, how to get the properties toolbar up. We went over all the different kinds of comments that you can use and why. Actually, just the most popular ones like the sticky notes and the text edits tools and um, probably the, the arrow or the line tool. Those are really, really great tools. Um, and how to view and check off the comments in here.